What's up, what's up, what's up? It is Jason John. I welcome to a new video right here on my new YouTube channel. If you are a returning supporter, subscriber, viewer, welcome back. If it's your first time here, welcome home. It's good to have you here. And today I'm going to share with you some information in an informative video dialed in and centered around the PPP. Before I go into all things PPP, I just want to kind of stop for a second and say I've spent a ton of time over the past couple of days doing my homework, researching, and really getting a good understanding of what the newly revised program is all about. And I wanted to make sure firsthand it was good for my business. So I am sharing this video and I've created this video to pay it forward to help people that exist in the event industry specifically, but really small businesses understand that PPP is something that if you haven't yet taken advantage of, it's something that you probably need to consider doing. And if you've already taken advantage of the PPP loan and, and, and process in 2020, they just opened up a new round of it in 2021. And it's something you need to jump on sooner rather than later. So I've done a lot of homework. I've kind of scrolled down the, the rabbit hole over the past couple of days, and I've read a ton of content. I've watched a ton of content and I've listened to a lot of people talk about it. So I'm paying it forward and producing this video in hopes of helping somebody determine if it's good for them, get an understanding of what PPP is to differentiate, I guess, the different rounds of PPP or the different draws of PPP, draw one or round one versus draw two or round two. And hopefully in doing all of this, I'm helping you with your business decisions and I get to save you time and energy from reading boring business documents created by the SBA and posted on the interwebs. Before I go into the content, just want to say if you're new here, would love to invite you to support the channel with a subscription. And, and if any time during this video and the content within this video, you find value, I would be so, so grateful if you smash the thumbs up button because that allows the YouTube algorithm to pick this video up as useful content and gets it in front of more people that could benefit from seeing it. So I would appreciate it. I would be thankful for it. And uh, you help me get one step closer to my goal in 2021. And that is developing and, and really focusing in on this community, on this channel and on this platform, YouTube. It's something, it's one of my goals. I'm driven and I am determined to pour my energy, my mind and my time into producing content that has value to help people do bigger and better things this year and beyond. So now it's time to talk about PPP and I'm pumped for this video. Jumping right in, what is the PPP? So to kind of boil it all down into something that you can understand and something that's easy to follow, the PPP is also known as the Paycheck Protection Program and it's a $669 billion business loan program that was established in 2020 by the US federal government. It was part of the overall Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act, also known as the CARES Act. And you've probably seen that name floated on media, on the news and across the interwebs while you're perusing social media over the past year. It's been a big deal. The purpose of this act and the purpose of this program is to help small business survive and thrive. It's really set up to help certain businesses, mainly self-employed uh, workers, people that normally wouldn't qualify for things, sole proprietors, nonprofit organizations, um, tribal businesses continue to stay afloat through all of the impacts to their business as a result of the pandemic in the United States. The PPP allows small businesses or entities to apply for low interest private loans backed by the U.S government to pay for their payroll and business expenses. And there's some rules and guidelines we're going to get into in a second. Um, companies, small business entities would apply for approximately two and a half times their average monthly payroll cost based on previous year's tax information. And the loan could be used to cover payroll, rent, mortgage, interest on a mortgage, and certain business utilities. This is all business focused stuff. The loan would then be or could be partially or fully forgiven if the business kept its employee counts the same and didn't touch the wages paid to employees. So 
part of or the entire loan could be forgiven from the government if you not only used it the right way, but you kept your employees working and you kept them at the same rates. The program itself was implemented by the United States Small Business Administration and the deadline to originally file for this program was June 30th, 2020. That was later extended to August 8th, 2020. And that's when I jumped in for myself and for my small business at the SE Event Group. I think it's super important to note that this program was created by the government to help and aid small businesses that were struggling as a result of all things caused by the pandemic. And you're probably watching this saying, okay, well, that was last year. Why are you making this video now? And why is this even relevant in 2021? I'm here to tell you that if you are not aware, the Small Business Administration is reopening the PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program for first draw loans for being, uh, for people that maybe didn't qualify or take part in the original 2020 application process. And in addition to that, they are opening a second draw for businesses who have used the funding they originally received and need more of it. Um, and this is all happening the week of January 11th, 2021. I know there's gonna be a couple of DJs watching this saying like, yeah, I didn't do PPP because it doesn't really work for me. I don't apply, I don't have um, employees. I don't have the ability to take advantage of this program and it doesn't really impact my world. And I'm here to say, yes, you do. And it's been now defined that business is eligible for the first and second draw of PPP loan funding include sole proprietors, independent contractors, gig workers, self-employed individuals, certain non-profits, even seasonal employers. All of these universes of people qualify for funding underneath the newly updated kind of rules surrounding PPP. It goes on and on. There's other universes of people that qualify for the new version of PPP funding, like faith-based organizations with uh, less than 150 employees and, and housing cooperatives that have less than 300 people. There is just a tremendous opportunity here to help offset some of the things that we've all had to experience as a result of the pandemic. So if you're watching this and you're not really sure if this pertains to you, let me tell you about how you can use the funds or what you can use the funds for. And I'm gonna break this apart for the first draw and for the second draw because they are a little bit different and it's important that you understand the differences on both, especially if you are new to PPP or you're considering now going for the second round and how it might be a little bit different than the previous round that you've kind of received from the government. So first draw PPP loans can be used to fund payroll costs. You can fund benefits. You can use funding to pay for uh, mortgage, your mortgage or mortgage interest, um, rent if you don't own a building, and business utilities. You can also use funding to pay for worker protection costs related to COVID-19. You can use funding to pay for uninsured property damage costs as a result of looting or vandalism that could have occurred during the year 2020. And you can also use the funding to pay for supplier costs and expenses for operations. These have been tweaked a little bit. Full forgiveness terms on the first draw PPP loans require you to use this money um, during an eight to 24 week period after the deposit is made to your business bank account. So you're required to use this money between eight and 24 weeks from the minute it's deposited in your business bank account. That's not it. You can be forgiven partially or entirely as long as you maintain your employee and their employee compensation levels. And 60% of the money that you acquire through the PPP has to be used on payroll specific costs. 
Boiling all that down, if you are a mobile DJ company, if you are a club DJ, if you are a producer, if you work in the entertainment or the event industry, if you're a photographer, whether you're an independent, you have a small team, or you're part of a larger team, and you are a 1099 worker for another entity, you technically qualify for this funding. And it may have been different last year, but now you can take part in this. And this is all fair game that is backed by the US government right here, right now. There are rules and guidelines for larger companies, but candidly, if you have over a couple hundred employees and you're looking to receive two to $10 million, you're probably talking to your accounting team or your CPA and not getting your information from a YouTube video recorded by a DJ. But businesses who didn't get round one or didn't take part in round one can now apply right here today. So now's your opportunity to get on it and get things started. From there, I wanna talk a little bit about round two, round two or draw two of the PPP. Last year, Congress designated $137 billion for second draw PPP loans as part of a larger funding and relief small business package. This bill, it was signed into law on December 27th of 2020 and includes a total of 200 and almost $85 billion of funding for PPP loans. Businesses that need help with funding beyond their initial loan are able to apply for a second loan provided they can show that they've had a substantial revenue decline and meet some other requirements detailed by the SBA. The SBA has opened up the opportunity for the second draw or second round of funding starting the week of January 11th, and the program will remain open until March 31st, 2021. Business owners who plan to apply for a second PPP loan should gather all the necessary information as soon as possible. So as soon as the opportunity permits, you get these applications in because it is first come first serve. And honestly, the PPP draw number two or second application round has been simplified. So it's not as hard or challenging as it was last year when you first went to apply. I'm going to be putting a video up about the application shortly. So be on the lookout for that, especially if you need help with it. So I want to summarize this PPP. It's an awesome program geared to help a small business. There's round one and round two. Round one, here's kind of like the summary. In order to qualify, you, you have to have a business that has less than 500 full-time, part-time, or seasonal employees. Your business has to be operational before February 15th, 2020, and it has to remain operational today. In order to get the second draw of PPP funding for your business, your business has to have less than 300 full-time or part-time or seasonal employees. And if you have multiple locations, you can have more than 300 people per location. You have to also demonstrate that you have experienced a revenue reduction of at least 25% in the second or third quarter of 2020, one compared to the same quarter in 2019, and you have used or will use the full amount of your first draw PPP given those sets of guidelines given to you when you applied for that loan. You have to make sure that your business is operational as of February 15th, 2020 and remains operational to this day. For both loans, you need to make sure that you keep your employees on payroll. You need to make sure that they keep the same wages and you can use the funding for things just beyond paychecks, but 60% of the, of the allocated loan amount has to fund payroll. I'm just about starting the application process for round two. And uh, again, I'm going to share a video here about the whole process. But if you're thinking about jumping into round two, um, let me explain how I was able to get some of the information that you need to complete this application. So the big thing here is you have to demonstrate at least 25% reduction in gross receipts defined by the SBA in any quarter of 2020 relative to the same quarter in 2019. For simplicity's sake, the SBA has said that businesses can now use their annual tax returns for 2019 and 2020 to substantiate the difference in revenue and the reduction of 25% or greater. Businesses can also compare any quarter in 2019 with a comparable quarter in 2020, which can be substantiated with 
quarterly financial statements available in QuickBooks or from your accountant or just from your bank. Again, this stuff may be difficult, but it is easily available. And we use QuickBooks and it was like a two second report that we we're able to generate. Another thing that you kind of need to know when you apply for this stuff is you need to understand your North America industry classification system defined by the SBA, also referred to as your NAICS number. DJs and event DJs are 711510. I'm going to say that again. Our classification system, our NAICS number is 711510. If you weren't able to get funding before, should you try for round two? Absolutely, as long as you can adhere to the terms of the loan, as long as you're going in with the intention to use the money the right way. So I know there's gonna be some people watching this that say, well, what if I can't get my loan forgiven or what happens if all of it isn't washed away and I have to pay it back? Well, the government has put that into play from the beginning and now allows people for any amounts that are not forgiven to be paid back over the course of five years at a 1% interest rate. So from a small business perspective, it's a win-win. And the reason why I say that is because it's usually challenged to receive small business funding. And if you are able to obtain it, it's very unlikely you'll get anything remotely close to a five-year term and at 1%. So it's kind of a win-win all the way around. So I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Hopefully I've been able to share some perspective, some insight and some information regarding all things PPP and how and why, if you haven't yet considered it, you should consider it for yourself, for your business and to help offset all the things that we've gone through from an event perspective and a DJ perspective over the past year or so as a result of the pandemic. I appreciate you checking out this video. If you found some value in this video, I'd love to invite you to again, smash that thumbs up button down below. And if you pick up on anything that I may have missed, you'd like to share a story, you have a question about the PPP loan process or whatever, I'd love to invite you to drop down below, throw it in the comments field there, and let's continue the conversation in detail in the comments field below. Again, my name is Jason Janai. I appreciate your time watching this video. Be on the lookout for new videos dropping right here on this channel very, very soon. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you real soon. Good luck with the process.